Hello, I'm Scott with Cochrane Tech Services, and this video is about making a really simple PX graphic or a pixel-based graphic. So, I've already integrated an NRIO 16 device over my NRIO network driver, and I made this points container named FanCoil 1. So, as you could imagine, I'm probably going to make a graphic for a FanCoil unit. So the way we begin is I'm going to right click my points folder here, and this doesn't have to be a points folder. It could be anything underneath config. I'm going to hover over views and make a new view. So I get this little new PX view and what might I want to name this new view is maybe fan coil unit or FCU underscore graphic. Simple, easy. Ta-da, we have a new view. So this view here is called edit mode. And if you notice in my toolbar, I have this little shadowed in pencil. This is the toggle between edit and view mode. So if I were to get out of edit mode, this is view mode and that actually saved my graphic as well. If you wanna save your work or your graphic while staying in edit mode, there's a little floppy disk up here in the toolbar you can left click. And so how we begin here in making widgets or these animated objects in our graphics is this way. Anytime we take any component from under config, that's everything under config, any and everything under config, and we click and drag it into our canvas pane here, which is our edit mode window. By default, it's called our canvas pane. And anytime we take that component and drag it in here, we're going to get the make widget wizard. So if I take my fan command, click and drag that into my edit mode here, I get my make widget wizard. And I have different radio buttons available. These are called radio buttons. I can only have one pressed at a time. And so what I want to do is hit my from palette radio button. And this will give me a list of modules. Modules are the building blocks of Niagara. And some of these modules have image files for us. And our make widget wizard leverages these image files to sometimes make it look like it's animated. So follow along with me for a moment. I'm going to click my from palette radio button. And a really common palette we might use is the kit PX N4 SVG palette. I'm going to click my open folder button and find that kit PX N4 SVG palette. And here it is. Notice that this view here is the same thing as if we had our palette in our sidebar, right? Underneath nav, it's the same thing. Except with our make widget wizard, we leverage these images instead of just having them static or unchanging. So because this is a fan, I'll look in my fans folder. I'll go down to fans horizontal, and maybe I want my fan blowing to the right. I'll click OK, and well, that wasn't very interesting, but let's watch what happens. I'm going to toggle into view mode, and the fan is off right now. But if I were to right-click fan command in my nav tree, hover over actions, and left-click override, say I'll override this or make it active for one minute, we'll see that this fan actually starts to spin. And it might be kind of difficult for you guys to see, but that's how we make any widget. And notice that I didn't have to tell it, hey, this is what to do in active mode or off mode. It intuitively knew which was the make widget wizard. However, if we wanted to customize this, we could. I could go back into edit mode and right click this and view its properties. And in our properties, our image is yellow. And so what Niagara is trying to tell us is that this is changing. This is animated. And if I were to left click that yellow bar, it gives us two different files from a specific module, our kit PX and for SVG module, for a value for true and a value for off. The true is a GIF or a GIF file, and the false is just a PNG or a JPEG. So now we can start to see how these things come together and how much easier that make widget wizard made it for us. That's how we continue to make graphics. I could add my chilled water command here. That'll also be animated. When I click and drag it in the canvas pane, make widget wizard, right? I want my same palette, but this time I'm gonna go to the coils folder and say I want a two-way bottom for a cooling coil. There it is, and if I go into view mode, we'll see over time that these images actually change. Right now, I have this cooling coil changing based on a PID loop, 
with a control variable as my zone temperature and a set point as zone temperature set point. So as these values change, here are my simple graphics. One other thing before in this video, there's no context in our graphics. Let's create some of that context. I'm going to hold down control and highlight a bunch of different components from my fan coil unit. I'm going to left click and drag those and still make widget wizard, right? That's a constant rule. But this time I want bound labels. And so what kind of information might I want? I'll leverage B formatting and that's above and beyond this particular video, but I'll use the out value of these points. And then I'll check, make a display name label and I'll get something like this. I'll lasso these and make these bigger. And now we've got some context based on a value make this a little bit easier. So this is a, a quick, dirty rundown. It's not totally comprehensive, but I've hoped that you guys have enjoyed this video and best of luck.